Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Husky Creations where we talk about biology all the time. Today we are going to be talking about escape rooms. So if you've never heard of an escape room, an escape room is just, it's based off of the movie escape room, it's a horror movie, and now there are actual escape rooms where you can go, you're locked into a room and you have to break the code, solve the puzzles, do anything required in order to escape out of the room before time runs out. In classrooms, they have actual hands-on escape rooms that are like hands-on activities. And then there are digital escape rooms. For biology, I do just the digital escape rooms. And there are two different types of digital escape rooms that I do with my students. And today I'm going to show you how to do one of them. This one is the easier of the two to create. It does not take long, especially once you get the hang of it. You can always, um, not always, you can convert any worksheets you already have into a digital escape room and this type of digital escape room. So it's really nice because it's really easy to just use stuff you've already created, add a Google form, and now you have yourself a digital escape room. The other one, I call it more of like a virtual escape room because the students have a empty room in front of them on a computer screen. They have to maneuver around the room using the mouse, clicking on different things and trying to solve the clues that type of escape room i'm going to make a separate video for so this one is just the escape room where you use a google form and some worksheets that hopefully you already created or you can just create new worksheets so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn the camera around i'm going to show you my screen i'm going to show you what the escape room already looks like so the finished product then i'm going to walk you through how to create this type of escape room if you want to see what like the finished product looks like, I'm going to include a link in the show notes for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now you can see my screen with me. And this is what I'm gonna show you first. This is the finished product. So this is what you're gonna give the students. It's two different um, documents. One is a Google form and the other is a Google Slides. I use Google Slides for my worksheets. So if you use like Google Docs or Microsoft Word, Whatever you use to make your worksheets, that's what the other document will be. So this Google Slides, which is just the worksheet packet, I print it out and I give it to my students. Page one is the directions. So they are presented with a scenario where they are locked in the building and they have to escape. The directions, they have to circle the answer to each question, and then they have to use the code at the bottom of each worksheet in order to turn their answers into a numerical sequence. So this is the important part of escape rooms. You don't want just a worksheet where they circle the answers or they write down the correct answer because you need a code. You need them to solve some type of puzzle. So here is the second, well, the first, second worksheet in the packet, the first worksheet that they have to um, solve. I, because I teach high school biology, I want the focus of my escape rooms to stay on task with whatever I'm teaching. So right now I'm teaching genetics. So I want the focus of my escape room to be genetics. I don't want it to be, can you solve these 10 different puzzles? That's fun and that's great, but I just need my students to focus on genetics. And there are ways to make the activities more um, interesting and fun for the students. And this is one of them. So I present them with eight different questions in room one. So the worksheets are the different rooms that they have to escape out of. So they circle the answer to each question. And then the code that they have to solve or break at the bottom of the worksheet is that each letter of the alphabet corresponds to a number. So they're going to turn their answers into a numerical sequence. And if you look, so like question number two, all of the questions are multiple choice, but the answers are not A, B, C, and D. So question number two, the answer is this middle one, capital B, lowercase b, but the answer is M. So when they go down here, the second number that they're going to add to their numerical sequence will be 13 because M equals 13. It's the 13th place in the alphabet. So for the next question, different forms of a gene, they're called alleles, but it's the letter L. So that would be number 12. Okay. So they're circling the answers, then they're writing the correct number, which just gives them like one extra thing that their brain has to do. And it makes it a little bit more fun for the students. Once they go through all eight questions, they get their numerical sequence. Then they go to the Google form. So there is not just one worksheet. They have four rooms that they have to escape out of, but I tell them to do it one worksheet at a time. So 
answer all eight questions for worksheet number one, then go to the Google form, type in your answer, and then if you're able to get to the next room, then you can go on to worksheet two. So in the Google form, let me make it bigger because I made it smaller so that we can see. This is a Google form. This is my view of it so you can see all the different rooms. But what the students will do is right here for room number one, this will pop up. They will type in their answer and then they'll hit the submit button. And if they got their answer correct, they will go on to room number two. If they did not get it correct, they have to try again. An error message will pop up and I'll show that to you in a second. So let's start making this escape room. So this is why it's easier Whatever worksheets you already have, add a code at the bottom to them, or even just put the code on the Google form, and you can turn your current worksheets into an escape room. So how do we do this? So I have a Google form open. It's blank. So I just title it escape room or any other creative name that you want. If you want to change the theme, so this one has a theme at the top. All you do is you go up here to customize theme. You're going to scroll down, see where it says header. You just choose an image. So any image that you want, I'll just choose one that's already here. So I'll choose this one. But you can insert an image too. So anything you had downloaded. And then if I wanted to change the color, I just scroll down. And let's see, I can change it to like a darker color, a lighter color, okay, or a custom color just by hitting the plus sign. So I'll leave it just like this. Question number one, this is going to be room number one. So you tell the students to enter their numerical sequence. I'm going to show you how to make it so that they have to answer it correctly before moving on to the next um, room. So these three little dots at the bottom, you're going to click that. You want response validation. So click that. Number, we want it equal to. And whatever number is your answer key. I'm just going to use one, two, three, and four. The custom error text, this is what will pop up if the students do not get it correct. So I'm just going to say, oops, try again. And for room number two, in order to create that one, right here at the bottom where it says like it looks like an equal sign, but it's for the sections. So you add that. Room number two or section number two, I should say, will be room number two. So we have room number two. And again, this just means worksheet number two. So after they answer all the questions correctly, do the Google form correctly for room number one, then they can start room number two. You add a question where you say type in your numerical sequence. And the same thing as before. So you go to the three little dots, response validation, number you want it equal to, and I'll just say one, two, three this time. And then the error or the if they get if they get it wrong what their error message will say and i'll just say oops try again now after you finish your last room so let's say i only have two rooms in my escape room so i only have two worksheets your final room on the google form should be their escape so i hit the plus sign again or the equal sign not the plus sign which is just the new sections i title this though something like congrats you escaped. And then I add a picture. I like to add a GIF, GIF, however you call it. So you just add image. I already have a GIF that I want to add. I just drag it over. That did not work. I've been having trouble with this lately, so this may not work. No, okay. So imagine like it went there and it worked. That is a keypad, so I can't use it. But because that has nothing to do with this Google form. It's just for some reason, my computer is not working correctly when I'm dragging images. I have to figure that out. But if you wanted to, again, you just add the picture here, browse or input a file. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the students will see. So I'm gonna preview it. Just click right here for preview. So this is what they'll see, escape room, room number one, enter your numerical sequence. It was one, two, three, four, next. Good, so now we're good to go to room number two. Now let's say we get this one wrong. So I'll just enter 112. That's incorrect, by the way. And it says, oops, try again. So the students have to go back and try again. So this is self-checking, which is very nice. One, two, three. And then congrats, you escaped. 
And if you wanted, a picture would show up right here. So that is how you make the simplest form of an escape room using a Google form. I have my coffee. <laughs> I have a toddler and she decided to wake up at 3.30 a.m. So I'm on coffee number three and it's only 9.15 a.m. <laughs> but back to the escape room. That is the most simple form. If you want to see a finished one, like one that I already created, I'm going to link it in the show notes so you can look at that. If you want to learn how to create the more virtual type of a digital escape room where the students have a actual empty computer room in front of them so it's like it's on the computer screen they use their mouse they click through the room trying to find the cute clues while wow, i just wanted to say cues they click through the room trying to find the clues and escape out of the room i will also link that youtube video in the show notes okay have a great day everybody i will see you at another time